Good evening and welcome to tonight's Magnet Application Support event. My name is Dana Selby and I work in the Career and Technical Ed Department. Uh, right now I see we only have one participant that does not work for the school district. Hello, Mel, welcome. Um, the plan for this evening is we were going to show a video on how you do the Magnet application itself. And following that video, we are going to do question and answers. If you do have questions, please drop them into the Q&A box so that we can get those answered as quickly as possible for you. Uh, following the question and answers on the um, magnet application, uh, if you need to know information about any specific magnet, if you could let us know, Mel, that would be great. Um, otherwise, the plan is to show the various magnet videos that uh, were not, or for people that didn't attend the Magnet Fair last Wednesday night. Following that, we'll do a little bit more question and answer, and then we'll be done for the evening. So Jefferson, if you could please start the video on how to apply for the Magnet, that would be great. Let's apply for a Magnet program at Vancouver Public Schools. The first thing you want to do is go to vanasd.org forward slash choices. This is Vancouver Public Schools district website for their magnet programs, and you can find lots of great information. But for now, we're going to apply online. So we're going to click this red button that says apply now to open the application. Here's the application homepage. If you've had a student that's applied for a magnet program before, you're going to want to scroll down and click the sign in button. If you've forgotten your username or password, you can reset it by clicking the links below. But for today's example, we're going to create a new account and start from scratch. Before you start, I recommend you click here to look at the frequently asked questions about the magnet application. Most parents have everything they need to start the application other than two things. You'll need your student's VPS other ID number, which is the same number that's in their VPS student email address. This is five or six digits. On the FAQs, you'll be able to see if the magnet program that you're interested in requires a counselor approval, principal, or teacher recommendation. In that case, you'll need their email address to complete the application. Counselor and principal email addresses can be found here, and to find a teacher's email address, please go to their school's website. Now let's create that application. To create an account, I'm going to use an email address and a six-digit password. Now let's get started. First, I'm going to enter guardian information. Once you've entered the name, address, and phone number, you'll be able to select how you want to be contacted by the Magnet Application Program. You can select email or receive email and text messages. You can also add another guardian. If you add their email address, they will receive all the correspondences that the main account holder is receiving. Now I'm adding the student information. If the student lives with the main account holder, the account will come up by default. If you need to add a new address, you click this button and type in the student's residential address. Please make sure that the student's residential address matches what Vancouver Public Schools has on records. If you've just moved or are, or are unsure, please see your school's registrar. You also have an opportunity here to click another student. So if you have more than one student applying for magnet programs, you can add them now. And you'll also have an opportunity to add them on the next page. Now we see that we're applying for the following school year and we're selecting trial student test. If we were to add another student or had another student added, we could select them to apply to a magnet program. Here you select if your student's currently in a school in Vancouver Public Schools or outside of Vancouver Public Schools and you select their current grade. What comes up next is a map showing your location and the location of the schools that the student's eligible to apply for based on their grade level. The map will show you the distance from your home. You can see the map, and you can also click the website of the Magnet Program. Today, we're gonna apply to two different programs. We're going to click Vancouver iTech Preparatory, 
and the medical arts program. Next, this is telling me that I'm applying for more than one school. Next, I'm going to rank the schools. The ranking has no bearing on the acceptance into one or more programs. It is collected for informational purposes only. Now the medical arts magnet program has come up. It is requiring a counselor or a teacher's recommendation. So once I put in their email address, they'll be sent an email that requests the form be completed. There's nothing else for the student or for you to do. We wanna know how you heard about us, and then you'll need to enter that five or six digit student ID here. Select a racial ethnic identification and sign after reading the student agreement and the parent agreement. You click the links to learn about the boundaries, the student transfer request information, and the non-discrimination policy. The boundary map will show you if you are in or out of Vancouver Public Schools. And the student transfer request form is required if a student is out of district and accepted into the magnet program. The notice of non-discrimination gives appropriate phone numbers and contact information. From here, you're going to click next, and it's showing you that you're applying to the medical arts program. Submit. And next, it'll bring up iTech. If we had only applied to one school, we would be finished now. So now the iTech application has come up. It gives me open house information here and brings in the student information. I wanna know how you heard about us and I need to enter in that student identification number one more time. Now, open houses are required for iTech and Flex Academy. There are two options at iTech for attending an open house. You can attend a live virtual open house and the three dates are here, or you can view a pre-recorded message. You can watch that video by clicking this website and going to the iTech Apply Now page. It has open house information on the middle orange bar with a video for middle schoolers and a different video for high school students. Once you've viewed the video or will go to the open house, you're going to select yes, and you're going to verify the student zip code and that it does match official records. Then continue to read the same policies as before and click yes, and then click submit. And the iTech lottery only uses the address on official VPS records. Congratulations, you've applied to iTech Preparatory and the Medical Arts program. The green button shows you the status of the application. And here you can see if the school counselor or teacher has completed the recommendation. Right now it's showing two outstanding. If you click the recommendation, it'll show whether it's submitted or not submitted. If you'd like to apply for another magnet program or add another student, you would add a second student by hitting this green button, or you can add another magnet program by selecting the edit add button. This takes you back to the beginning. Now you will not have to fill out the applications again, but you will have to click through them. So if you were considering applying in addition to medical arts and iTech preparatory to the welding program, you just select that and then you're going to select next. And it's going to give you a warning to not uncheck programs that you've already applied to. If you accidentally uncheck it, it will cancel the application. However, you can call the magnet coordinator or the CTE office and they can fix it immediately. Congratulations, you did it. You applied to a Vancouver Public School Magnet program. To log back in and check the status of your account, go to vancouver.schoolmint.net forward slash sign in. You will also receive an email confirmation of your submission with login information. And you can always go to vansd.org forward slash choices, click the apply now button and scroll down to the sign in. This too will take you to your magnet application. We appreciate you being here tonight and we hope that you found this helpful.
All right, are there any questions about the magnet application process? If so, please drop them in the question and answer area. All right, seeing no questions come up, uh, at this time, we're gonna show the magnet videos uh, in case you weren't able to attend last Wednesday night's uh, event. And again, we, if you have questions along the way, please drop them in the question and answer area and we will answer those as we go. Jefferson, we can go ahead and launch those videos. Vancouver Flex Academy is a magnet high school in Vancouver Public Schools serving students in grades 9 through 12. We are a small school environment located in central Vancouver. Flex Academy welcomes students from throughout the school district. A simple magnet application starts the process of enrollment. Uh, I think what makes Flex important to me is that uh, all of the um, personality and um, that everyone is allowed to have their own opinions. Vancouver Flex Academy is a blended learning community where classroom-based instruction is enhanced by online, digital, and experiential learning opportunities. Flex Academy is home to approximately 100 students. Each student is assigned their own personal device and workspace. It's prepared me in a lot of ways. Uh, it has a lot of really cool classes like financial algebra, which can like help you with taxes and like investing, or like I'm in the career choices class which helps me like just like with my job or like getting a job and interviews. Learning pathways include college preparatory and career technical training. The campus is home to a vibrant horticulture, natural resource and building trades program that is supported by a full-size greenhouse and shop as well as outdoor learning spaces. Creative expression occurs through our digital arts pathway including photography, animation and graphic design courses. Our family and consumer science pathway encompasses child development, real life 101, teen psychology, as well as culinary and health fitness related classes. Field trips work to enhance experiential learning and application of content standards. Our school community values a culture of achievement in an inclusive environment, which helps all students and staff feel welcome, safe, respected, trusted, and a valuable part of our school community. It's a great place. You're gonna get all the things you need up until you know you get to like that college level or just the adult path that you want to go on to, and it'll really help you develop into uh, a better person in itself. Check out our website or plan a visit. We hope to see you soon. Do you want to use your problem-solving skills and creativity to generate ideas and solve real-world problems? How about accelerating your learning to begin college classes as early as ninth grade? Solving problems, preparing for life after high school, and preparing for college is exactly what you'll learn to do at Vancouver iTech Preparatory, a unique experience for students in 6th through 12th grades. What sets iTech apart from other Vancouver schools? To start, iTech has college prep classes and iTech has community partnerships and intern opportunities with local businesses. We have STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math electives that prepare students for a future in STEM careers. We have innovative projects that are original and creative in thinking. This makes it convenient for students to enroll in the early college program or running start, taking classes at both Clark College and WSU Vancouver. All students take AP classes in social studies and English and take Spanish for four years. Many class requirements are taken in college, which is why the new campus is the perfect location. iTech's rigorous graduation requirements include students taking 32 credits, which is six more credits than the Washington State criteria. This school accelerates learning by combining STEM with the liberal arts and integrating art and design principles into research and problem-based learning. One day, you might find yourself studying restoration effects on Mount St. Helens. The next? designing and pitching a product to a panel of professionals, all with opportunities to earn college credit that can help prepare you for your next steps after high school. Applying to iTech is a very good idea. 
Uh, you're able to take accelerated courses throughout the entire middle school and high school. You're able to take robotics, and you're even able to take college classes as early as ninth grade. ITech uses a lottery system to select students, which helps ensure equitable access for students. Applications open mid-January, and you must apply to be considered. In middle school, students take the elective classes called 3D Design, Introduction to Computer Programming and Robotics. All 6th grade students start in Math 2, which is a combination of 6th and 7th grade math. This way, students begin algebra in 8th grade and are well prepared for STEM classes in college. While ITech doesn't have an athletics program, students can join their neighborhood middle or high school's team and participate in a sport once a year, and can take advantage of the brand new indoor open-air turf nasium and indoor fitness and weight room. Plus, students are kept busy after school in robotics and other clubs that they are free to join. ITech has community partnerships and intern opportunities with local businesses. There are STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math, and math electives that prepare students for a future in STEM careers. The best thing about iTech for me, other than the people and the community, is probably the opportunities that you're given along the way. They help you learn and grow in a way that is unlike anything else. At iTech, you will learn how to communicate and collaborate to solve issues about the real world. Successful iTech students participate in completing many interdisciplinary projects starting in middle school and have dedicated collaborative areas and maker spaces available to turn ideas into action. iTech empowers each student to engage with their future by fostering innovation and resilience using project-based learning with a focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Something I would say to someone thinking about applying to iTech is do it. If STEM and project-based learning excite you and you're looking for an accelerated early college program, consider applying to iTech. Are you interested in a career in the healthcare field? Then the Fort Vancouver High School Medical Arts Magnet may be the program for you. Learn how the human body and mind work, how disease impacts the body, how to rehabilitate sports injuries and discover what your career options are in healthcare. This is a great opportunity for students to expand their knowledge and network with healthcare professionals in our community and Magnet alumni who have gone into exciting medical careers. I would say that you learn a lot of really helpful skills, not just for the medical career, but in life itself. You learn how to get CPR certified, you learn BLS, and you learn a lot of basic um, first aid that's really helpful. The academic core and elective classes provide students with a comprehensive, challenging academic experience to prepare them to be successful in any post-high school endeavor, including technical two-year and four-year certificate and degree programs. The program has added a healthcare career exploration STEM lab and a state-of-the-art digital dissection table to give students even greater hands-on experiences to better prepare them for the career and college pathway. Students in the Medical Arts Magnet are given multiple opportunities to participate in community healthcare events, such as Citizens Emergency Response Team, or CERT, triage drills, monthly guest speakers from Peace Health Southwest Family Practice, prescription recycling with Prevent, and Clark County law enforcement officials. The medical arts program assists with VPS sports physicals, runs blood drives, and partners with the Children's Center, all of which create lasting friendships and important professional connections. Students in the program are encouraged to take advanced placement courses as well as classes that receive dual credits for high school graduation. Students in the medical arts magnet may also earn up to 18 Clark College credits that are part of Clark's nine healthcare certification programs. That includes pharmacy tech, medical emergency services, and dental hygiene. The credits can be transferred to many Washington State post-secondary institutions. Our students will have a little bit of everything. They're going to have college readiness. We expect them to take challenging courses, um, advanced placement. Um, we, we make them get out of their comfort zone so that they are ready to stand on their own two feet if they are for sure going to go on to a four-year college or university. Healthcare is a growing industry and is in constant demand. The Bureau of Labor and Statistics projects the healthcare field will grow much faster than average occupations, adding more than 2.4 million new jobs over the next 10 years. Get a head start on your way to a fun, challenging, and fulfilling career in healthcare. Join the Fort Vancouver Medical Magnet and be part of the team that will make a difference in the lives of so many people. If 
you're interested in sustainability, engineering, and working outdoors, then consider joining Hudson's Bay High School's ACES Full Day Magnet Program. What's ACES, you ask? ACES stands for Architecture, Construction, and Environmental Services, but it's so much more. Here, students come together to create sustainable design projects in our local community by mixing and matching classes in their fields of interest. The ACES Magnet is focused on creating community-oriented, career-ready students equipped with leadership skills to help you excel in life after high school. I want them to learn science for sure, but I also want them to be really educated citizens in, in the world. So I want them to understand how science works for them and how to understand data or to understand um, things they might be hearing about on TV and actually applying those things in, in real life. There are several fields of study in Bay Aces. Let's start with horticulture. In horticulture, you'll study and grow the most common plants used in the nursery industry, experience floral design, landscape design, and sustainability, and help manage one of Hudson's Bay's greenhouse operations. The courses will prepare you to be knowledgeable in the science, art, and business of sustainable landscape design and horticulture. Through a variety of hands-on learning, you will obtain knowledge and practical skills that will enable you to be a competent horticulturist and prepare you to enter the numerous career paths that involve horticulture, landscaping, growing food, and general plant maintenance. Laboratory activities help you develop the knowledge and skills necessary to do scientific inquiry, which will earn you science equivalency credit. If horticulture is where your passion lies, continue to the advanced courses. Students who complete all three horticulture classes are eligible for more than 20 credits from Clackamas Community College. Plus we tie in with FFA and uh, skills activities that the kids can be involved with. So we have students that are at the University of Washington in landscape architecture to kids that go right out into the industry and start their own businesses and working in the field with the skills that they've developed while they're in the magnet. Bay Aces also offers construction training. The Department of Labor projects more than 80,000 new construction jobs over the next decade, and the Bay Aces Construction Trades Program creates career pathways directly into the industry. You will learn how to work with a variety of machines and processes found in the construction trades. That includes framing, electrical, plumbing, reading blueprints, and weatherization. You will learn how to use tools and power machines to produce finished products. Students can earn the OSHA 10 certification as well as CPR, AED, and first aid certification. Students who complete the three-year series of construction courses are eligible to be recognized as completers of a Washington State-recognized apprenticeship preparation program, and certificates are kept by the Carpenters Union. This recognition also earns the students points on the Carpenters Apprenticeship Application, which offers priority to the candidate. Teamwork is a vital skill in any workplace, and the majority of shop time will be spent working with others. The work ethic and skills learned in this class will be valuable for any career field. You get to refine your skills and you can take those skills right out of here into a job and into a, an apprenticeship program where you can be paid to go to school and, and learn the skills that you need to become a journeyman carpenter. Engineering is another option in the Bay Aces program. Engineering courses allow you to use your creativity plus industry-based tools to create solutions to interesting design challenges. Although engineering design is the focus, the knowledge and skills taught are transferable to other technical and scientific areas of study. Students come together to solve numerous technical challenges using a variety of industry standard software, Autodesk, Inventor 3D Solid Modeling, and Microsoft Excel, plus fabrication devices including a 3D printer, laser engraver, and CNC machine. I think I'll have a lot more knowledge and like information on different programs I can do in the future, like different job opportunities. Bay Aces also offers natural resources and conservation courses. Natural resources covers all the things that people use from the planet to make our lives possible. You will learn subjects such as soils, ecosystems, land and water use, climate change, fish and wildlife, energy and recreational resources. Field and laboratory experiences are emphasized. I've gained so much more people skills. I used to be so incredibly quiet and I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to speak in front of big groups. But ACES and like the teachers that are involved really would like push me out there and like I got to be involved in all sorts of competitions and helping younger students and even older students too. So it really helped me expand my boundaries. You will also explore careers related to natural resource conservation and management. Natural resources and advanced natural resources courses are credited as science or occupational education courses. 
courses progress so you can plan a career pathway and become knowledgeable in current environmental and natural resource careers based on industry standards. Get on your career pathway by applying to the Hudson's Bay Aces Magnet Program. At this time, we're going to go ahead and end this portion of the uh, evening. If you have any further questions, please drop them in the chat or feel free to call our office at 360-313-1350. And you can ask for Dana Selby or Tracy Sharman. Thank you.